the Morley in its normal resting place just inside our front door. And Tom and Megan getting ready to go on a walk through our annex woods. Friends of Long Acres know what our front door looks like and all our farm tools living pretty much permanently by the front door. We feel very fortunate to have the back door to our house open onto this. And this part of Long Acres will be ours for many years to come. With the little stream going right by the house far below on the second level. Just a couple of hundred feet behind the house, looking back, there's the house. You can barely see it through the trees. And the western side of the house, this brook follows right next to the house and meanders back into the old growth forest. There's the little footbridge, and there's the other east, eastern branch of the brook coming from the far side of the house. This is the Y behind the house where the west branch of the stream is to my left, and the east branch of the brook going around the house is coming in from the right. I'm looking back down the hill towards the little footbridge on the house trail. Our house is right through the woods that away. And here's the house trail which will meet up with the ridge line trails. Great big old growth forest trees here. Here we're coming off the house trail with the house behind us. This is what the girls from camp know as the main horse trail. That's galloping field up to the right, up this trail. And the main branch of the horse trail and the ridge line trails going back through the annex towards Dark Stranger Cabin. We're on one of the ridge line trails now, and this is the cutoff towards the big footbridge and the power line trails. And what we are working on now, the incredible views off of the deer path. There's the big footbridge. Once again, the trail going up towards the ridge line trails. Behind me is the power line trail complex. And this is one of the beautiful meandering creek bottoms through the old growth forest. Up on the hill to the left there is what we call the deer path because the deer seem to love walking along the crest of that hill where they can see predators coming. We'll be up there in a minute and look back. This is one of the power line trails that the camp girls are used to doing on horseback and it's safely maybe 30 or 40 feet back from the top of the bank and where the deer go. So you guys who rode this many times on horseback have probably never been back to this very beautiful section of what we call the deer path. This moss-covered trail right along the top 
is the deer path and look at the view looking down into the gully. This is view number one, not far from the walking bridge. Walking bridge right straight down there. So still and peaceful, deep in the old growth tall woods. Looking back on deer path view number one, come to this little point and walk out to the very edge of the bank and look around the bend to deer path view number two, a whole new part of this canyon. Here's the next little promontory in the Creekside Ravine. This is Deer Path View number three, the most spectacular yet with the deep forest and evergreens all the way across the little valley and the meandering brook right down below us by 50 feet. Here's a third promontory. And deer path view number four, looking down 60 feet or so here. This is looking back at deer path view number four, 60 feet down over that drop off right in the back of the picture. And we are just 20 or 30 feet from the main horse trail behind Pegasus and Esserus. This is the one that goes from the barn to the power line field. And here it is completely covered in leaves after most of the foliage has come off during the fall. And Megan can skip through the leaves here and show you how neat the leaves are. The annex land that we're keeping will end just before the pond by the barn. We hope to keep rights to play with our canoe in the pond, but we'll, our land will end just before it. Giving us giving us one of Megan's very favorite views down into our own mini little Grand Canyon and the Casanova Creek Gorge, looking down here from the trail next to the pond by the barn. And then looking again down the river.
Dark Stranger Cabin is right at the top of that hill in the shadows. And this is the gully where we're going to put our future nature trail over to our right is deer path trails and views this is undisturbed forest almost never been used by long acres in all our years but megan and i are going to use it in our retirement This is the main trunk trail for Long Acres. If you go straight ahead on this trail, you get to the dining hall. And just a little bit farther across that next clearing, you get to Esserus Cabin and Pegasus Cabin. And what's new is right off of here is the trail that Megan and Tom have been working on. It's a 50 or 60 year old trail through what used to be called Tent City and is now going to be Megan's Overlook Trail. We spent days clearing this all out. And again, in the background, you can see what used to be a toilet building for the old Tent City. Big, big, old-growth trees. Up on top of the hill is Dark Stranger Cabin. And Kent City Plateau here with our new trail. old wash house which we're going to fix up as a tool storage room cleared away all these old fallen trees to open up the new trail all the way around the outside of Tent City Plateau. And Megan, where is this? <laughs> Megan's perch. Junior barn just up the hill and the old director's cabin in far corners. You see the stream and the Casmovia Creek out young. Steep chasm here, probably 40 to 60 feet. Standing at the top of the hill on the main trunk trail between the dining hall and the barn. Looking into the Tent City Plateau new trails. The old cement creek crossing on the main Long Acres trunk trail will be the end of the new Tom and Megan annex land. This is looking up the creek right next to that crossing. And up there at the top of the hill is Megan's new favorite, Megan's Perch, for sitting and watching the world go by.
is Dark Stranger Cabin. Often fox kits are born in the spring underneath this. And just over to the left, you look down 30 or 40 feet onto Tent City Plateau, where we were a minute ago. And just a little bit to the right, you look down another 30 or 40 feet to where the nature trail will be someday. The views from Deer Path Overlook are directly across this valley. And this is the horse trail to the galloping field and to our house. Dark Stranger Cabin, Megan's footpath. From here, down the hill, and out to Megan's perch overlooking the Casanova Creek. Here, the Ridgeline Trail. Many breathtaking views down through the gullies. Wave through the trees. You can just see some red of the old junior barn. More of the Ridgeline Trail, looking across the gully towards the old junior barn. And here we are again, heading back towards our house in Galloping Field, with breathtaking views once again along both sides of this ridge. We are blessed to be able to live out our retirement on such an incredible piece of property. In the distance ahead is Galloping Field, which will remain part of the Long Acres retreat for many years to come. Cantering Lane. And that Tom and Megan's house through the trees across the gully. In the far background through the trees is our house. This is yet another amazing view with a 30 to 40 foot deep gully. Megan just cleared this trail. This is an old trail my parents put in uh, 50 years ago. More than that. 60 years ago. You can see the house coming into view. This is an amazing view down the gully from right here.
galloping field up across the ravine. The tractor parking spot. And the house in Long Acres office. Mostly house now, not so much Long Acres office anymore. And this is where Tom and Megan are retired to, and yes, we know we're lucky, and we're grateful. <laughs> <laughs>